Hey everybody, how's it? Hello, this is Ajeebs here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge, pulling back the layers and dissecting suggested tracks. Now, um, I think it was last week I released Hum, which actually I did on Patreon a while ago, because that's what I do on Patreon. One of the things that I do there that's really fun is uh, I pre-release over there, and then some of it just lives there. Like I have a I have a double barrel between the buried and me that's hanging out there that I just did, and also uh, another tool track that I've done. So there's all kinds of stuff on Patreon, but when I went through the hum comments, there were quite a few people said that I had to listen to Sunny Day Real Estate. So I am doing so because I said, where did I see this before? Way back on my Patreon list from quite a while ago. So you know who you are. You've been hanging in there. Thank you so much. I'm finally going to do this. So um, in lieu of the comments on the channel here because of hum, but most definitely uh, because of the suggestion on Patreon, I am now going to do Sunny Day Real Estate, their song, In Circles. All right. Okay, we all know where I'm going to start off the joy, right? Okay, so yeah, you just saw me with the bass. Uh, it, you know, uh, you, you would sometimes think that I'm a bass reaction kind of guy, but it just is something about the beauty of the bottom of really great bass playing. That is such the support and is such the basis of so much uh, incredible music. Um, that being said, the, the bass tone is great, but I love how he is... So, or she, but I'm going to say he. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't check. Sometimes I get smoked in the comments because, dude, it was a girl. But in this case, um, the bass player, <coughs> there's a lot of motion that's going on there. So while even, even while the opening, what I love about the openings, they gave us in these two chords, they gave us this time to really kind of soak into the pattern. You know, really super cool. But the bass is keeping it really kind of lifting up because he's, he's getting around. Then once the vocals come in, I can't help it. Now, guys, please, I have a very limited um, knowledge of, of, you know, prog rock, rock, you know, bands. So I have to say that I did, at least in the verse, kind of lean into a little bit of a Radiohead kind of vocal vibe. And I think it could be just, it doesn't mean, he doesn't sound like him, but I think it's the fact that the mix and where he's at and in his performance is just in that same pocket, but obviously not the same style of music per se. This has a little more punch and power. Uh, or this particular track has a little more punch and power. So, it's, it's, so I'm not comparing it to, it just kind of made me feel a little <coughs> of that. Um, you saw me once go, oh, oh, wow. And then I finally pointed at it again. In, I think I'm going to say it was a 16-bar verse. 
in the first four bars, he does this melody, but he does this harmony on four and, and eight, I think it was, um, where it's just a single voice, but it's so well done that he hits these notes that we call sometimes suspended notes. And they, they kind of feel like they leave you hung, they leave you kind of hanging in there. You can hear it, you can't. If you're listening for it, you can. And then it resolves. And it can resolve into something like, like blooming, like in a positive major uh, kind of vibe, or it can resolve into a minor and kind of put you in kind of a dissonant kind of vibe. Super, super good. I love the engineering. I'll glam on that a little bit, but I want to listen to the rest of this track without stopping, and I'm sure you're going to appreciate that too. <laughs> All right, here we go. I love, oops, something going on there almost. I love the uh, counter arrangements and the guitars that were going on through this whole track. And what I, what I mean by that is, um, you know, obviously, it sounds like there was two guitar players. I looked it up, that's what I was doing when you saw me kind of come onto my, um, my system here, just to see what they were all about. Apparently uh, in 1994, they released their very first album. And it looks like, I'm just gonna do this really quick, don't worry, like they've been on and off for a while, a couple of like, like they might be on their third time here. I'm not going to open up Wikipedia and read it out there. You guys do that yourself. But um, it looks like they're a full band in the sense that, it, that it's not Nirvana-like, but they do guitar players. <clears throat> and, um, uh, and and it sounded like, and it said here too that they were part of, I guess, emo. I still don't know. I got to look up what emo means. <laughs> what does emo mean? But um, it did look like it's coming out of just that slightly post-grunge kind of, era maybe i don't know you guys tell me oh it says right here um indie rock post hardcore uh, alternative post grunge okay uh, but this was really really super clean and very very original for what i've been listening to in that genre on this channel i'm an instant fan of these guys i'm going to go through their discography but i before i get out of here i just want to say what i love uh, first of all the hook is solid the hook is in and 
they give you, once again, just like how they gave you time to marinate into the opening pattern, the hook gave you really good time to marinate into the hook. So it was really, it's that kind of thing. And that's where I think that post-hardcore kind of vibe uh, kind of comes in right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but I just want to close really quick. First of all, you saw me having fun with the drummer. The drummer was doing some great nuances with the cymbal work. Uh, the bass player, of course, was killing it, but that... Da, 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 da. So that was the solid part of the riff, and that was basically the bass was carrying that, you know, through the end, and it was happening here. But on this side, this guitar player was doing alternative voicings on the chord crunches, and would let that, it sounded like he'd let his guitar hang out over the power riff and let it kind of, you know, let it set an ambience to it. I thought this was, this was absolutely badass. This is a great way to start my weekend. I hope it's a, a good one for you. You guys have a great weekend. Sorry, hiccups all of a sudden. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I uh, got a really uh, super cool beans, uh, slow burn, uh, long fat session for you coming on Tuesday. Usually I do this on Thursday, but I didn't today, right? So on Tuesday, I'm gonna do one. So uh, you guys take care, have a killer weekend, be safe, be all the stuff that makes it cool. All right.